today I'm book talking Dry. It's by Neil Schusterman. He wrote Scythe, if you've heard of that series, uh, and Jared Schusterman. It's a really uh, gritty and compelling read about drought. So it's called Dry because in the book there's a tap out or a drought where uh, the main character, Alyssa, and everybody else in the book, uh, turns on her faucet and no water comes out. There's no water anywhere. Like in their society, present day, but like a little bit in the future, uh, but America and everything. They've known that this is coming for a while. Like they've had some droughts. They've had water restrictions. They've known that uh, some of the water reserves are drying up, that kind of thing, but they have no idea it's going to be this bad, and then all of a sudden it happens. There's no water anywhere. People are completely unprepared. And so as you can imagine, people like rush to the store to get bottled water, um, like thaw the ice from their freezer, all of these things, but it's not enough. Like they don't have enough water to drink, to cook, to clean things, to live off of. No water anywhere. So the book is about how they survive. It's about a girl named Alyssa. She's in high school. She's smart and witty. She's a good character. Uh, her younger brother, Garrett, who's like the typical middle school younger brother, like kind of annoying, but you also kind of have to love him. Uh, and they uh, end up, I'll say, interacting with their neighbor, Kelton. Kelton's family is a little odd. Like, you know how you have that like, one weird uncle or one weird next door neighbor. Well, that's definitely Kelton and his family. They are preppers and they have been preparing for this moment or a natural disaster or, you know, some kind of chaos like this for their entire lives. So they have like a bunker, they have a basement, they have like whole food storage, like they have everything all prepared. Uh, and they're all of a sudden, not the weird neighbor anymore, right? Like everyone wants to be their friend. Everybody wants them to help them. Uh, and so they also kind of have to wrestle with that as well because they're prepared for like their family, but not like to support an entire town of people. So that becomes a really interesting dynamic too. So it's a story of survival. It's realistic fiction. Uh, it's definitely one that you can see some parallels to like the shutdown time. Uh, that we all experienced with the pandemic. So if you are not looking for a book that might hit kind of close to home, I would say don't read it. Um, but I read it actually in March and it was really interesting to see like some of the parallels um, between them and how the characters like handled things. There were more characters introduced as the book went on and I really appreciated all of them. Like they were um, diverse and dynamic characters and just made for a really interesting read. So you would like it if you like realistic fiction, if you like books that are like a little gritty, you don't mind a somewhat depressing read, you like interesting characters, uh, or you just want to pick up another book by the author who's pretty popular as well. Hope you pick this one up soon.